Okay, hello Taurus, back again. Glad you came over to the extended. Um, we're looking at this third party situation and I want to say at this time that third party situations can easily be other responsibilities. So sometimes third parties could be a divorced parent who has a lot of responsibility with children that then interferes in your relationship. A third party can be the traditional somebody's married or in a significant relationship and they're juggling two people. Now third parties can also be a situation like uh, say someone has to take care of elderly parents and this parent maybe needs full-time care and they don't have the money or the assets or the resources or whatever to provide that so they go and they work their day job and they spend an inordinate amount of time caretaking someone else. So I just want to really be care uh, be careful to let you know that it's not always you know um, sort of a, the energy of cheating, quote unquote. Okay, it's just not. And I also believe you know in my own belief system certainly is the idea that. We meet people for a reason and sometimes it's not conveniently when we're all single available and you know 22 or 23 years old ready to fall in love so life just works that way so let's take a look at this energy for taurus and resilience look at this the two of you are really really resilient that is also strength card energy turned right side up Sovereignty, oh, you are unshakable. Taurus, your person, and you feel as though this relationship actually wouldn't go somewhere. You couldn't even make this go away if you wanted it to. Surrender, surrendering to what is going on. Interesting, okay. So we're gonna look at the third party situation because that seems to be the crux of the matter. The third party situation, whatever that is, and it will resonate differently with different people is what is causing so much turmoil. Uh, there's a lot of pain and unhappiness and heartbreak around the situation. Taurus, what about your person's ability to be with another person? What What is their responsibility? Show us something. Somebody that creates crises, the third party is somebody that creates crises and must be, requires rescuing. Somebody who's very ego driven. Somebody with whom your person would really like to part ways. The justice card indicates it could be a marriage, but it also could be like a parent who says, you know, hey, you do this or you don't get your inheritance and, you know. Um, so that energy is pretty profound. The Ace of Wands energy says that there is a passionate need to rescue someone. You know, this is like a fireman running for the fire pole, right? Oh, I have to hurry, I have to hurry. The crows denote some sort of trouble that this person is running to. Why is the Five Wands energy here? Why is the Five of Wands? What is this Five of Wands? Tower card, crisis. Okay, so what we see here is a person who is always handling another person who has some real, some issues. They're carrying a lot of baggage, you know, and your person's resilient, but that's a pretty big bag of snakes and undesirable objects in terms of, well, unless you like snakes, I mean, lots of people do. Uh, but it does show that it, it throws a cautionary note into the situation because your person does not feel like they can abandon or they can leave this person behind. That sovereignty, it's like a country. You know, it's like the United States. We're not going to morph into something else. We're always going to be the United States or whatever country. Um, this card, look at how that came floating out. The Five of Cups came floating out and going in circles with the Three of Swords. Both of you feel very, almost like you want to give up sometimes. There are times when the tension and the sadness between the two of you is overwhelming. You will carry on, you will continue the relationship. I don't even see that as being a choice. 
Look at that. Oh my God. Okay. Remember this was upside down in the last, you know, part of the reading where you really couldn't uh, express this. I hope that wasn't the Gemini reading. I can't, it's hard to remember when I put all the readings together. But what this says is that, and this is beautiful, the two of you have the power, we'll see if you have the willpower, to actually come out of this brokenhearted in, uh, energy with hard work to actually create, this is called laws of attraction. This is to create something that didn't exist for you before. You are going to surrender to the situation. You're not going to try to fight the situation. So let's see for our beautiful Taurus friends what is going on. How will this unfold? Because this heartbreak hotel scene here is uh, really... You don't talk about it either. You and your person do not talk about this. I do feel as though you have had arguments about the topic of how things should be done, how they should unfold, but I'm not getting the feeling that you really admit that this is a very heartbreaking aspect for most of you. For some of you, clearly that will happen in this month. Very clearly your person will soon understand, Taurus that what you're saying is not uh, ego-driven. It's the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So let's see, Taurus, where you're at with this. You want a new beginning. How does your partner feel? Your partner's pretty ego-driven. They want, well, that is interesting energy because that is Virgo energy. Your person really wants to have they want to have this abundant life with you, but they're not doing things that support it. Queen of Wands, Taurus, you're coming in with the Queen of Wands energy again. You know, Queen of Wands is all about building, creating, and this person disrupts everything because of the third party. This person is over here just making a mess of things. The Magician card, and they hide things from you. I like the Magician card. This person manifests a great income, it, it appears, but I also get that they keep secrets. They're not telling you what you need to know to have balance in this relationship. Why? Yep, Libra energy. So we have two Libra cards here. This person feels that they put you on a need-to-know basis and you don't need to know. And the Queen of Swords energy is Libra energy again. They don't want to know how messy the situation really is with the third party. They do not want you to know because they feel as though you would leave them alone. That you would really just surrender to the fact that they are in this situation and they're not going to change. They don't plan on changing. This creates a tremendous burden for you. Let's see what the Tower card is. Let's see what the energy of the Tower card is here. Why is this person so shocked and appalled that you might break up with them suddenly? Because that would be out of the blue a breakup. Something they didn't see coming. Ace of Voices. You've been telling them. Oh my gosh, Taurus, you have been telling your person. You have been verbalizing to your person that you may leave, that you don't think that they're doing the right thing. You're very much in conflict over a set of, of decisions that must be enacted and made to handle the Heartbreak Hotel down here. All right, so for, I really feel so much that this may be about a codependent relationship in which there's a spouse, a mother, a father, a child that's always in crisis and always creates drama. And that right now, Taurus, you are using very Gemini energy to look at the warning signs, to look at, you're just going to slow down. I just see you, Taurus, as making the decision to just, you know, be on caution. You're not going to run through any red lights. You are just not going to do it. You would rather surrender to the situation and let the person work this out. And if they work it out, fine. And if they don't, you will miss them. Look at that. You have all these sentimental feelings, but I also see you not willing. The truth of the matter is, is that your person doesn't even see the truth, but they're about to. There is something that's going to happen in this burden, in this sort of cesspool that they're carrying around. 
Yes, they can carry the burden, they seem to be able to, but it's not healthy, it's creating a really crummy foundation. It's creating crisis and more drama, and that is going to explode in the next month, the month of September. All the August readings are up, by the way, because I, I, I do everything a month ahead so that you can preview and, and watch everything. Uh, general readings are timeless. Rem remember, I can't have a timestamp when it's the collective, right? It's not, it's sort of a, that would be an illusion. All right, so you have, Taurus, the desire to just do your own thing. I see you withdrawing from your person. You're really exhausted. You're spending time with other people to sort of make you feel better. You feel as though this cycle might close out because you close it out. A relationship that you thought might end in marriage, you're feeling as though you can't build something if you have someone that is is just refusing to see the truth of a matter. They keep powering through a situation that cannot stand. This means that the foundation of whatever the Three of Swords energy is, is not sustainable. So for instance, if there is a family member that always has drama, there is going to come a crisis because of the denial. Denial, denial is not just a river in Egypt. Okay, so let's see how you're handling this. Yep, you're just, you're willing to just allow them to lie to themselves. You are allowing them to fall on their own sword. Right now, I see you, Taurus, as being, and this can be vice versa, as everyone knows, hopefully everyone knows that, that you or your partner is, go, you're just gonna let them fall on their sword that whoever is the person who's carrying the burden is going to have to see reality and the only way that they will see the truth is, is by getting to a situation where they have to surrender. They have to give up. They have to stop trying to control a situation that is not manageable, that's run amok, that's creating a crisis not only in your relationship but the connection with another person is in a a dangerous situation. Somebody wants to leave that connection. And this is a very emotional card. I feel like when I look at this, a, this emotion, the eight of emotions here, I feel as though the well-being of this person who is the third party is not good. I feel like they just feel like they're in an abyss. So the third party feels as though they're in an abyss, in an abyss. They feel as though life has been very rough on them. They feel as though life has stabbed them in the back. Okay, and let's see what we have here for the Eight of Pentacles. What are you going to work on for yourself, Taurus? Yep, see, you're going to work on your own life. You're going to do creative work. It looks like you're very successful in your career. Very successful. You're going to, yep. You don't, okay, Taurus, for the Tauruses for whom I'm reading, you may be the one with a third party. It is possible. But the problem is, is that you're allowing this third party to create a wedge between you and the person that you love, which is this, this energy, this beautiful energy. It's Aries energy. Uh, that's the Aries queen. And, you know, the zodiac signs may not have anything to do with it, but, yep, here we are. Here you are, the Taurus king. The Taurus king who traditionally would go after a marriage is letting mundane, a mundane situation that needs to be handled very differently continue to disrupt a life. So, again, both you and your Aries queen, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, are not taking the day-to-day -day actions to give the relationship stability. You keep building it on passion, but the problem is, is that that you or your per, I really think your person could walk away from you, Taurus. Whoever has a third party situation is likely to feel very abandoned, and it comes because 
the third party situation was allowed to undermine your beautiful love relationship. Let's take a look and see what we have here for surrender. What needs to be surrendered? What needs to be surrendered for Taurus and their beloved? What needs to be surrendered to make this relationship successful? Judgment, okay. Judgment is Scorpio, Scorpio energy. That is the phoenix rising from the ashes. So your surrender is your salvation. To just surrender to the fact that if your partner, uh, look at this, there's your partner. Taurus, it looks like your partner, this Cancerian energy, this very nurturing moon, um, really knows what they're talking about. So if you have the third party instead of them, the leader has to be the queen. It just has to be. You're, you're too willing. You've been carrying too, such heavy burdens for so long and or your person has. You've really learned. You've built lots of muscle. You can carry a really heavy burden, but that burden is in need of release. If you want your soulmate energy, you only have a period of time. So the soulmate energy is, is put on hold. It's been, you know, the hanged man. No action is taking place. Um, but this is your soulmate. And you are supposed to be moving in a direction that allows you to build something. And you've become so accustomed to an old unhealthy pattern, one or both of you, that you are living in this sort of, almost like you crawled in this bag with all of this stuff. Okay, so we have the Aquarius, new, uh, the Aquarius full moon, which is releasing burdens and toxicity. So what's the outcome here for beautiful Taurus friends? Staying single, holding on to your money, doing the same thing. Oh, all right. So I get by the end of September that there will be some healing that takes place. The relationship is certainly going to be broken down. The relationship is going to require in the next month to be totally rebuilt. Because otherwise, if you don't, if whoever in this partnership that has a third party that's refusing to see that this third party situation is a death blow to the relationship and the romantic relationship, it will not survive. However, it does show, the cards are showing us that there is healing on the way. Um, we have a lot of force for stability, but this also is Taurus, you holding on to your person. You're trying to heal things, but you're also staying very fixed in this energy for now that you are very stubborn. You're just like, nope, this is, you know, this is my family. This is who they are. This is what they do. And um, you're going to have to deal with the competition, but your person isn't willing to deal. So that's what I'm seeing. And it's vice versa. This really looks like for some, it's one way. For others, it's flipped. But uh, for now, the good thing is, is that this reading is, you know, specified for a shorter period of time. But I would say that if you don't release all of these attitudes and habits, if your person doesn't release all of their attitudes and habits, you're just going to find yourselves in, um, you know, losing something that's very spectacular. You're gonna, you're going to lose a soulmate, so that you have to come back in another life and try to find each other again, and go through all of this again. Why not do it here? All right, I'm gonna leave it there for you, Taurus. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care. Bye bye.